When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be with you today. Welcome to The Long Bearded Guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're going to talk about a topic that uh, my producer and I were just talking. It's, it's relevant, and I find it, uh, when I went to look what I'm talking about today, I was like, you know what, that's interesting. That's synergy. That's higher power. I would call it Papa. Putting that in front of me and going, okay, you know, let's talk about this. So today I want you to know um, the episode title I'll give to you, but I'm talking as much to me today as I am to you. Today, it's it's an introspection piece that that is going to come up. And my topic today is awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize my genius. Awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize my genius. We talk about this all the time. Awareness, self-awareness. We're going to talk about that a few times today. It's going to come up a bunch. Self-awareness is part of the foundation for personal growth and development. Self-reflection, being able to look inside and see where I'm at. If, if today, if, if you're listening to me today for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. If it's the if if it's a, if it's the first time, welcome. If this is multiple times, if you're a regular listener, thank you for being here. Uh, I've got my my special mug today. I'm actually drinking coffee. Um, uh, as a, as opposed to herbal tea, because I needed that extra boost. In all authenticity, I talk to you guys about being transparent, and vulnerable all the time. I was in a car accident last week that that uh, needed ambulatory care. I was in the hospital for a bit, and I'm uh, have concussion. And there's, anyway, I'm dealing with that. To be real and raw, and and to be able to say to you, you know what. Um, there's huge pain today between barometric and some of the things that I'm dealing with from the accident. But, but at the end of the day, I'm still here. At the end of the day, we're showing up, choosing to show up, even though there's challenges. And we all have challenges, yes? We all have stuff that we, that we battle with. We all have demons we battle with. So today, when we're talking about awareness to learning for authenticity, authentically owning and utilizing our genius to understand what that really means. There's going to be some benefits of this. I just real fast enhanced emotional quotient. If you want to enhance your emotional quotient or improve your decision-making or strengthen relationships in your life or greater, have greater confidence or better stress management or increase your resilience or have elevated happiness levels or greater authenticity, or more effective communication, or improved work performance, or better conflict resolution, or overall life satisfaction, keep listening today. Keep listening today. We're going. If you that's what you're looking for in your life, we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about where that comes from and how to make that happen. Welcome, 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 welcome. By the way, you've got about 30 seconds to get a journal to write some stuff down. We're going to talk about some things I know you're going to want to remember. And most people can't retain more than 10% of what they hear, even if they take good notes. So get a, get a journal, get something that you can write down with. You're going to hear things you want to remember. So if you've heard, if you've listened to me before, again, thank you and welcome back. I know there's people listening all over the world. I appreciate that so much. Thousands of people, and I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm on a mission to positively change the lives of every man I meet by increasing their emotional quotient, by raising that EQ, by giving them awareness around their authenticity. I'm founder and CEO of Jewel International. I'm a champion mindset mentor. I'm a multi-award winning international best-selling author multiple Times. I'm an international keynote speaker. I'm the champion mindset and energy coach for a number one league leading during the playoffs at the moment. They're favored to win the championship this year. It's the first winning season they've ever had in franchise history because we're doing partly, partly, partly 
because we're doing mindset work with, with the team. It's a basketball team. And I teach the seven levels of emotional intelligence for men. I serve entrepreneurial men and pro athletes. If you want to fall into one of those categories, um, I'm talking to you specifically as, as from my heart, but uh, anybody, I'll work with anybody and I'm talking to us all because I don't think men have the market cornered on and an inability to raise their EQ. So I, I'm excited to have you with me. By the way, you can find us on Apple TV, Google TV, um, Roku, Amazon. On Fire, Spotify, uh, act your, your live or listen to your live radio, um, or you can watch us on. TV on our own station, Inspired Choices on Facebook, and we're live streaming obviously on Inspired Choices Network's platform. So find us on one of those. Find us, plug us in, share it. If this resonates with you, share it with others. If this resonates with you, share it. I'm looking for, for engagement. It, it's, it's one thing for me to talk and share, but but and that's that's great. I gotta get that message out. We want that message out from my heart. I want that message out. But I'm looking for engagement. I'm looking for people to plug into this information. Let me know that it's that, that there's something. If if you think I'm full of shit, tell me. Tell me I am. And and tell me why. If you resonate with this, share that too. Hey Gord, you know what? Uh, this helped me do this or this helped me do that. Uh, you can reach me at the longbearded guy at gmail.com. Easy, easy, easy to get a hold of me. Like, love, share, subscribe, free subscription uh, on our on our app. Uh, so find that. It helps the algorithms. Obviously, it helps pay for the show. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get into this. Awareness of learning to authentic, authentically. Sorry. Own and utilize our genius. I can't fix it until I'm aware. I, I can be I can have the most amazing program that will solve any problem instantly, not real by the way. But that won't work until they uh, I say, hey, you know what I have a challenge. At, at AA, if you if you're familiar with some of that, they, they, I can't help an alcoholic until they can stand up and say, hey, I'm an alcoholic. Awareness around what the challenges are. Awareness, self-awareness. There's so little of that in the world at the moment. We're, 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 it's gone by the wayside. We're not self-aware. And that's a problem because it stops us from understanding who we're being. And if you listen to me at all, you know that's a huge question for me. I ask it all over the place. Who you be? But if I'm not self-aware, I have no idea who I'm being. If I'm not self-aware, I can't step into my genius either. I can't step into... my genius I, I i'm trying to challenge you and I, you've heard me say this before but I'm, I'm here to rattle your cage you made for yourself that you're sitting in a lot of us sit in a cage we made for ourselves the doors open the keys in our hand and we sit in there oh i gotta protect myself from the world i gotta protect myself from the world or i'm being limited oh i'm you know i'm 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 being restricted my situation is restricting me take the excuses away Stop using the so today and this morning and said, hey, I, I can't do it today. And everybody would have understood that. But the only person that would know whether I could or couldn't is me. We let ourselves off the hook. My team, my, my, my guys, they flew out this morning to the East Coast for the, for a, uh, the next playoff game is tonight. The only flight they could get, they had to go this morning. They wanted to go yesterday, so they had that overnight to relax and get their legs. They're going to land at about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. They have to play at 6 o'clock. Local time there. They could use that as an excuse. Oh, it was too hard. We flew and had to play on the same day. We had to be at the airport at 7 a.m. We had to get wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We've been awake for 12 hours already. Before we actually play, it's so hard. They can use that as an excuse. My daytime routine, pre-game routine is messed up. I looked at him yesterday. I said, don't use that stuff as an excuse to stop you from taking what is yours. You're the better team. 
But you have to, we play the game for a reason. Don't allow the situations and the stuff that's happening in our lives to be an excuse to exercise our genius. I got some people around me that encourage me constantly, constantly encourage me. Step into that and embrace that, that genius, that brilliance. We all have it. You have greatness inside you. If you haven't been told that today, you have greatness inside you. Les Brown says that all the time. You have greatness inside you. And a lot of times we don't, we're not aware of that. We don't believe that or embrace that. We don't embrace that. We need to embrace that. We need to understand the world needs what's inside of you. What's inside of me? You may, oh, no, the world doesn't. The world needs to hear your story. They need to hear what's coming and what your thoughts are and what your creative is. You have brilliance inside. You believe that? Because I have to be aware of it first. Right? Awareness. But then I have to be able to embrace, believe it, be aware, believe it's there, embrace it, and then use it. I have to do all four. If if I'm aware and I don't use it, I then embrace it and hold on to it and use it. A Ferrari in the driveway looks good. I can't enjoy it the way it was intended. I have to be able to use those attributes and those skills and that brilliance and our genius. You have genius nobody else has. I have genius nobody else has. We can discount that all we want. But at the end of the day, that's what the world needs. That's of awareness. Be authentic. Be willing to be. Be authentic. Everybody wants to be unique. You can be you. Be aware. Be self-aware of who you're being of who you're putting out to the world. Understand what you're, and we're going to talk about that through the day today. I'm going to talk about some, some resources. We're going to talk about some of the things that some other people have said about this, but, but I want you to be aware of what's happening. We kind of got lulled into this thing that well, we, we go into our job and we do our day and we go through the motions. You ever do that? You're busy, 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 busy all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. And at the end of the day, you're like, what the hell happened today? I'm exhausted. I still have a whole bunch to do on my to-do list. I didn't get to most of it. I added a whole bunch of stuff and I'm exhausted. We work so hard in some, in some ways in our life. We don't pay attention to who we're being or who we want to be. Who do you want to be? You can create that. Matter of fact, it's one of the only things you can control. What you think and what you do. Because what you think becomes what you do. I'm going to say that again. What you think becomes what you do. What you're thinking about all the time is what's showing up in your life. That's what's manifesting in your life. So if you're thinking negative and lack all the time, guess what you're going to get in your life? And I'm talking to myself as much as to you. I need to take a quick break. <laughs> I give you a quick shout out for Jose Escobar, who's the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out his Connected Leaders Academy membership. They had a, a global summit last weekend. I was supposed to be there. I would have left the next morning after the car accident. And I wasn't there. And, and there's a reason for that. And we'll talk about that today. Um, I'll, I'll give that to you because it goes to the heart of what we're talking about here. But Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. 
set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. And you can do that by reaching out to him at the entrepreneurs book with an S entrepreneurs bookshelf.com. The entrepreneurs bookshelf.com reach out to Jose. That's an incredible group of people, incredible group of people, incredible group of entrepreneurs reach out to them. As we go to a break here, don't forget to pause and breathe. Why? Because you're, you're grounding yourself. I'm going to do the same thing. Pause and breathe. I have some of my coffee, but pause and breathe. We're talking about awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize our our genius. We're talking about some breathe. I will be right back. with the long bearded guy that's me gordon d melville on inspire how much of our daily success relies on our mindset anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives when dealing with our daily emotions that we all face there can be positive outcomes we control why is the word stigma such a bs misnomer is living abundantly really possible for all of us no matter where we find ourselves today Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hello, everybody. How, uh, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for, apparently my internet's a little bit spotty, but uh, we'll do the best we can. So... Um, Anyway, so we're talking today about awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize our genius. And we were talking about some benefits of that. We're talking about, and again, I'm challenging myself as much as I'm challenging you today. I'm challenging uh, uh, what we're thinking and what, who. Who, who we think we are, right? We have to be, we can't become who we already are. So uh, it's, it's a matter of having awareness around who we are and then being able to exercise, own, and utilize who I am, utilize our genius. So uh, there, some people have said some stuff about this. I want to talk about this just real quick or read some of these to you because I don't want to mess them up. Um, so uh, Aristotle said, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. And, and that's what? Thousands of years old. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize your genius. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. I got to know myself first. Um, if we want our children to love and accept who they are, our job is to love and accept who we are. We're an example to them. They're, they're watching what we're doing. They're watching what we're doing. So we want our children to love and accept who they are. We got to do it. Uh, Nathaniel Brandon said, the first step towards change is awareness. The second step is acceptance. 
So I have to be aware. That's the first step. I've got to be aware. And then I have to accept that, right? We talked about four things, right? I got to be aware. I have to be able to accept it, embrace it, and then use it. Uh, radical acceptance is the willingness to experience ourselves and our life as it is. A moment of radical acceptance is a moment of, ge of genuine freedom. Again, radical acceptance is the willingness to experience ourselves and our life as it is. A moment of radical acceptance is a moment of genuine freedom. Brene Brown, wonderful lady. If you don't listen to her or haven't plugged in, she's got uh, podcasts and, and webinars and stuff all over the place. Incredible human being. She's a wonderful lady. She says, owning our story can be hard, but not nearly as difficult as spending our lives running from it. And again, owning our story, that's awareness around who we're being. Again, right to the heart of it. But I can't, if I don't own it, is as hard as it is to own and authentically own who I am. We want to be able to look at the situation and go, this is who I am being. Authentically. Without sugarcoating and being 100% authentic with ourselves. Don't lie to yourself. But also, don't make it worse than it is. And we have a tendency to do that. We have a tendency to make it worse than it is. Because we don't let it out. We don't journal it out. We don't um, talk to a therapist. We don't talk to anybody, right? We, that hamster wheel just keeps going around and around and around and around. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We make a mountain out of a molehill. That's a kind of old saying. Probably dates myself. But you understand what I'm saying. Uh, give yourself grace. The most difficult thing in life is to know yourself. The most difficult thing in life is to know yourself. To know who you really are, who you're being, it's hard. It's hard. It takes courage to be that honest with ourselves. James Pierce said, the key to learning is an awareness of where you lack understanding. Oh, let's say that again. The key to learning is an awareness of where you lack understanding. The key to learning is an awareness of where you lack understanding. Awareness. You're going to hear that word over and over and over because that's where it all begins, right? Whether it's self-aware, whether it's situational awareness, all, the, all these different things, it all begins with awareness. It all begins with understanding and being open to see what's happening around us, what's happening in us, what's happening for us. We look at it that way, right? Life's happening for us, but that takes an awareness to be able to use a lens to look at it that way. How am I framing the situation? What lens am I using to look at that? And awareness is a key for that. Uh, Robin Sharma, great guy. Every expert was once a beginner embraced the journey. Right? Well, everybody's way ahead of me. I, I, I take too long. No. Even the experts were once a beginner. Again, there you hear the word again. Embrace the journey. I got to be aware Again, it's an awareness. Every expert was once a beginner. I got to be aware of that. I have to know that and be able to embrace that and go, okay, everybody started somewhere. Robin Sharma also said, confidence comes what you stand for. You got to know where, where we're at. We have to know what's going on in our life. We have to know who we're being. That awareness. Jack Canfield said, self-awareness is the first step in creating what you want and mastering your life. Self-awareness is the first step in creating what you want and mastering your life. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to be courageous enough to do the self-inspection it takes, to be authentic? And to own what you find. It may not be pretty. It may not be what you want it to be. But for a lot of us, it's not. And I don't think it, it ever gets to a place where it's exactly what we want it to be. But it's a choice we make. We're choosing to be that person. We're choosing to be that to the world. We're choosing to show up a certain way for the world. For ourselves. Excuse me. For ourselves and for the world. 
It's a choice, folks. It's a choice. It may not be an easy choice. And lots of times for law, for, for almost all of us, very rare that it's not. It's a hard choice, but it's the best choice. It's the most rewarding choice. In the end, it's worth it. You've heard me say that before. You've heard me say that before. But I, I have to choose to be aware. I have to choose to be willing to see my own words, where I'm lacking, where there's a lack of understanding. Because I know, hey, you know what? Because there's bits and pieces. I'm talking with a colleague about this this morning. If we don't, if we're not aware, whether that's self-aware or whether that's aware of situation, if we're not aware in that in those situations of what's happening around us, maybe. We're not showing up the way we need to for the world and for the people around us. If you're not aware and paying attention to what's going on for them, we were talking about some stuff and it was like, well, if, but if, if this person shows up a certain way and we don't, we love them to death, but if they're not showing up the way we need them to show up in a specific situation that they've committed to doing, we either have to instruct them with, 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 and, and people say, oh, you know, constructive criticism. There's no such thing. It's a, that's a misnomer. There's no such thing as constructive criticism. Criticism is criticism. You can advise. You can give feedback. That makes sense to me. That can be positive, but we can critique. Be careful how we talk to ourselves. Be careful the words we use when we're talking to ourselves. It's going to change. That will change in the lens. Right? That's going to reframe the situation. That's going to give us a certain outlook. If, if I take, if you've seen the movie Elf, uh, Elf, uh, e -L -F, Elf um, great Christmas movie, right? Kids movie, great movie. Wonderful, 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 happy, light, airy, fun. You know, it, it's a great movie. But I saw a, a cut of it, of a, of a preview for it, where they used dark music, using the actual scenes from the movie, but they cut it a certain way. They framed it a certain way. And it seemed like a horror movie. Like literally, it's a scary movie. Well, no, it's not. But the way they cut it and the music they put behind it, they framed it in a certain way to take something that's light and airy in children and make it into a horror by reframing, by changing the lens. Be careful about the lens you're using, right? They say there's three, three sides to a story. There's probably more, but at least three sides. Yours, theirs, and what really happened. Because neither one of you are seeing exactly what's happening because your history and your um, attitudes and opinions and uh, prejudices, all, everything, is you're using all that to view the situation. And so are they. And then there's what really happened. So be aware. They uh, Maybe I'm not seeing what's actually happening. Maybe... I need to leave room. Maybe I need to leave room to adjust. I need to have awareness around empowering myself. If that makes sense. I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, anyway, I need to take another quick break. This I could talk about this type of topic for a long time. There's a, we could, we could do whole series around self-awareness. We could do whole series around authentically owning our genius because being able to step into that and hold on to that and exercise that is really hard. Very, very difficult because we don't want to be braggart. We don't want to be, uh, you know, egotistical. We don't want to be arrogant. We we're trying to be a certain type of human being, a lot of us. And so uh, how do I step into that? How do I use that and utilize that without coming across arrogant without being a braggart. So we'll talk about that a little bit in the next section too. So another quick shout out for Jose. 
the founder and CEO of The Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out The Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about his morning and evening routine mastery program that is changing people's lives. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today. And again, you can reach him at the, so the, T-H-E, the entrepreneurs, with an S, entrepreneursbookshelf.com. And that's an amazing program, morning and evening routine. If you're not doing some kind of a morning and evening routine every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, you're not getting everything out of your day. Are you aware that you're not getting everything out of your day? You're not squeezing all the juice out of your, out of your orange, out of your lemon, if you're not doing a routine every day, morning and evening. Reach out to Jose, incredible human being, incredible program, incredible program. Reach out to him. Again, another quick break. Don't forget to pause and breathe. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about some some highlighted tips and some some more benefits, the, the top five benefits for, for having awareness of learning uh, to, uh, to authentically own and utilize our genius. So don't go anywhere. Be right back here with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Now. See you in a minute. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. The Connected Leaders Academy is the number one fastest growing networking community for entrepreneurs. CLA assembles high level leaders, titans of industry, and business owners under one roof. If you're an entrepreneur looking to grow personally, professionally, scale your influence, develop skills, and expand your network exponentially, the CLA is where you need to be. Want on to more podcasts and shows, speak on more stages, sell more books, products, and services, get more leads, referrals, acquire new clients, develop lifelong friendships, and more. Join the Connected Leaders Academy today. Contact Jose Escobar on Facebook or check out www.claglobalsummit.com for more information. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. You're with Gordon D. Melville, the long bearded guy on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize our genius. There's, we have to have awareness to have learning. We have to have awareness to be able to, of our of our genius to be able to authentically own and utilize it. I have to be aware. It's something I struggle with. Well, I struggle with a lot. And and again, vulnerable, transparent. It's something that other people tell me, hey, this is who you show up for, and this is how I see you. This is how you're showing up for me in my life. And I believe that's why I wasn't in Maryland. Because I struggle with that. I struggle to, to believe and to be able to um, embrace and hold on to what my genius is. How much am I impacting people around me? If I had shown up in Maryland, I would be standing there impacting the people the way I always do. But that wasn't the most important thing, apparently, for me. The most important thing for me right now in my life is to understand that imp for them to show me what that impact was. I got gobs of people from that from that uh, conference reaching out to me. Hey, we miss you. Hey, you know, thank you for the. Uh, my name was mentioned over and over and over. People were saying in their in their talks they were 
mentioning me in their talk, and I wasn't even in the room. That makes me emotional. It helps me understand what my impact is. It helps me understand what my genius is. But I have to be aware of that. Not going to Maryland has been an introspection on awareness of who I'm being to the people around me. It's reinforcing for me who I'm being. And that's a good thing, right? That, that's a really, really good thing. But I need to be aware of that and I need to be able to embrace it and, and be able to, to authentically own that so, so that I can utilize it. I can't use it. I can't utilize it unless I own it. I have to be able to embrace that and go, yep, this is who I'm being. So that does the struggle. And sometimes that doesn't happen overnight, right? I can know it here, but until it's to my heart, that 12 inches between my, my brain and my heart, sometimes takes a little bit to get there, right? Logically, we can go, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Or, or the other way around, sometimes we feel it in our heart, yep, this is who I think I'm being, this is who I believe I am. But my brain keeps telling me, oh, who the hell do you think you are, right? That ascension from your heart to your head, that can be just as hard sometimes. So I wanted to, we talked about benefit right at the beginning of the, of the, the top of the show. I had asked, hey, are these things you want to increase or do to be better? Benefits of becoming more self-aware. And, and so there were five I wanted to touch on just real quick. Enhanced emotional quotient. Enhanced emotional intelligence is a benefit of becoming more self-aware. My EQ goes up, right? It gets better. I, I become more in touch with my emotion. I become more aware of what's happening around me. I become more aware of how I'm showing up for the world. An enhanced emotional quotient a better, higher level EQ. The higher my, my emotional quotient goes, the better my life's going to be. There's a whole bunch of things that get better when my EQ goes up. This, that's the first one, enhanced emotional quotient. The second one is uh, that we talked about before, I mentioned earlier uh, off the top, a strength, uh, strengthening relationships. My relationships get better when I have self-awareness when I can look around me and go, hey, this is what's going on for me, but look what's going on for those people. Look what's happening for that person. I become a better human being because I can strengthen those relationships by being engaged with them, being aware of what's happening for them. Lots of times we, we're not paying attention. We're so self-absorbed sometimes. We're not paying attention to what's happening around us. We don't see the pain other people are, are going through. We don't see or that sympathy that might should be there empathy sometimes if we've experienced what they're experiencing but there's those relationships get way better way better when we raise our eq and become more self-aware when we when we the benefit of becoming self-aware is enhanced eq when our eq goes up our relationships get better we strengthen those, your, how you become closer to your significant other or your kids or your mom or your dad or your brother or your, whoever it is. The relationships at work because you're self-aware of what's going on. Who are you being for them? And I keep coming back to it. You're going to hear me talk about it over and over and over, not just today, but every show. Who are you being? How are you showing up for the world? And is that who you want to be showing up as? Because if it's not, you have the power to change that. But do you believe that? Are you aware of that? Most people, I keep being told, they're not even aware they have the choice. My mission is to change that. You have the power to change who you're being. It's a choice. We may not like to hear that. That may be hard. You may be going, or you're full of poop. That's not that. And uh, that's fine. It doesn't change what is. I'm not here to be right. I'm here to challenge and learn and grow with you. So don't take it as a, don't take it as a, I'm, I'm, I'm attacking you. That's not the deal. I'm talking to me as much as to you. When our, we become more self-aware, the third one is increased resilience. I talk about being a legacy and resiliency strategist. Our, res, our ability to be resilient goes up when we're self-aware. 
because I know what's going on. I know how I'm showing up. I know what my limits are. Do this with me real quick. It's an exercise we used to do a, 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 a quick, a quick it, does, it takes a second. Reach, uh, uh, stand up if you can where you are. If you're in the car driving, don't stand up. But if you, where you can, when you can, stand up and reach up as high as you can. Reach up as high as you can. You're reaching, reach, 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 right? Okay. Can you reach a little higher? Come on, you can do it. Go higher. Got it? Hold it. Can you go higher? Keep going. Uh, keep going, keep going. Reach, 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 reach. Can you go higher? Come on. Are you on your tiptoes yet? Come on. Can you go higher? Uh, uh. How much higher did you go at the end than when I asked you to reach as high as you can at the beginning? I'll guarantee you, you went higher. I'll guarantee you, you did. It, whether it's, it's uh, you know, half an inch, centimeter, it's two inches, it's five inches, it's six, whatever it is. The point is you have more in you than you believe you do. Our resiliency, our ability to push up, dust yourself off and move forward. Because I only have to do that once more, get up once more, then I fall down. Is resilient. Just once more, just once more. It's not about how hard we get knocked down or how many times we get knocked down. That's a rocky thing, right? It's not about how hard I get hit. Nothing will hit me as hard as life, but it's not how hard I get hit or how many times I get knocked down. It's about how many times I can get back up, not staying on the ground, not giving up. It's about, no, I'm going to, I'm going to stand up and move forward. I'm going to stand up and move forward over and over and over and over and over. I'm, it doesn't matter how many times I get knocked down. Life's going to hit us and hit us and hit us and hit us and hit us. I got hit. Literally, I was hit. I hit somebody else. I hit somebody else. Right? It's not about the hit. Did I get back up? Do you get back up? The fourth thing, real quick, I'm running out of time. The fourth thing is more effective communication. If I'm more self-aware and my EQ goes up and I'm strengthening relationships and I'm increased resilience, my effective, my, my communication gets better. Would that help your life get better? Would that help your life get better if your relationship got better if you were more self-aware if your eq goes up are you willing to do the work it takes are you courageous enough to put it in and go you know what i'm going to stick at it i'm going to do it i'm going to be resilient i'm going to i'm going to stick my finger in life's eye and i'm going to go you know what i'm going to take the good stuff i'm going to take the lessons and i'm going to move forward and nothing you do to me is going to stop me from getting where i want to go nothing is going to stop me from being successful the fourth one is overall life satisfaction if i'm more self-aware and my eq goes up my overall life satisfaction improves. And I don't know about you, but life satisfaction is something I think we all look for. If you're not looking for that, you probably wouldn't be listening to me. You probably wouldn't be listening. Our life gets better when we're self-aware. If we can be courageous enough to be aware and then authentically own and utilize our genius. Our life gets better, folks. Our life satisfaction gets better. Is that what you want? Or you want to stay where you are? And again, I'm not trying to be a schmuck. I am here to challenge. I'm here to rattle your chain and shake your cage and go, hey, if you're not happy where you are, let's go. And I'm talking, again, I'm talking to myself as much as I'm talking to you. I'm preaching to myself over and over and over. I have to do that same thing. Come on, Gord, get up, dust yourself off, let's go. Yep, there's obstacles. Yep, there's demons. Yep, you're battling all over the place. But you know what? Everybody battles. It's not about all the battles. It's about moving forward, choosing to move forward. I hope you're hearing my heart. I really do. I really, really, really do. 
I have to take another break. It's just, there's so many break. I got to take some more break. Got to take some more break. So we're going to do that. Don't forget to pause and breathe. I'll let you go. We're, uh, when we, when I've got some resources for you when we come back. And we're going to review a little bit, wrap, and then we'll do a quick call to action, which is very amazing. So, so don't go anywhere. Um, you're with the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize our genius. We'll be right back. Don't forget to pause and breathe. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you. You're with the Long Bearded Guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. That's me. <laughs> and that's where you are. That's what you're listening to. And thank you for doing that, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. Today, we're talking about awareness of learning to authentically own and utilize our genius. We've talked about a bunch of things. I want to just touch on a couple things real quick. Write these four things down. We have to authentically have self-awareness, right? So eventually, that's the, where you have to believe. That's the being aware, self-aware. I have to believe. I have to own it. I have to embrace it. And then I have to use my unique genius. But I have to do them all. I have to believe I have it. I have to own it. I have to embrace that. And then I have to use use it. And I'm I'm again, I'm talking to myself as much as to you. I'm trying to figure out, hey, you know what? Am I self-aware? Do I know what that genius is? And then can I believe that? Yes, that is who I am. That's who I'm being. Do I believe that? That's I struggle with that. I think a lot of us do. Is that who I really am? Who am I being? But then I need to own it authentically. Own it, embrace it, and then use it. Because the world needs that. Not just mine, yours. Each of us has something to share. I want to give you a couple of resources real quick. Um, if, you, if you want to dig deeper into this, you can reach out to me, by all means. The long bearded guy at gmail.com. Reach out. I've got group programs. I've got one-on-one. -on -one. I've got, um, I can come and speak to your group, to your youth group, to your church, to your community, wherever it is. Uh, come and speak to, reach out to me. The long bearded guy at gmail.com. I also have sponsorship. You like this and want to, hey, Gord, how can I help you move this forward? How can I help you impact every man on the planet? How can I help you do that? There's ways to do that. There's our sponsorship opportunities available. Reach out the long bearded guy at gmail.com would love to talk to you would love to engage if you have questions reach out if you have comments reach out that's how this works that's how you grow that's how we all grow and I, I, i've got thick skin you can say whatever you want to me it's okay i can deal with it but here's some other resources besides me here's some other resources there i'm going to give you four books really quick bren brown Brene brown 
she's got one called The Gifts of Imperfection. The Gifts of Imperfection, great book, great book about self-reflection, about ownership. Michael A. Singer, The Untethered Soul, again, great book. Tara Branch, uh, Radical Acceptance. And one of my favorite books of all time, Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, The Four Agreements. If you haven't read that, you need to get a copy. You give away copies, read that book and live through The Four Agreements. The Four Agreements, not The Four Expectation, The Four Agreements. Get that book, read that. The bottom line is self-awareness is part of the foundation for personal growth and development. Like it, don't like it, believe it, don't believe it, doesn't change what is. Self-awareness is part of the foundation to growing. To move forward, I have to know where I've been. I have to be able to build on that foundation, right? You build on sand, it's going to come down. Maybe not today or tomorrow, or next year, or next week. It's going to come down at some point because it doesn't have a firm foundation. You want firm foundation? Have self-awareness. Authentic self-awareness will give you what you want to do. All right, so call to action this week is to practice self-reflection. Practice self-reflection. Sit and meditate and think about who you're being. Review what the last week, what the last month has been. Am I doing what I needed to do? Am I being who I need to be to move forward? Am I, and it, because if you're being who you need to be, you will show up for the rest of the world the way you need to, the way they need you to. But that starts with understanding authentically, authentically having self awareness. Practice self reflection. Think about it. Who you be? That's a question mark. Who you be? Who you be? I hope this. I hope. Hope this resonates. I really do. It's been a, for some of my friends. I've got one in particular that's got really bad cancer. Probably not last week. And and there's some interesting situation there. But but please pray. There's people struggling all over the place. Be kind with the people around you. Be kind with the people around you. Share this with other people. Share it. Be, be that person for them. Hey, I know a guy be that, or a gal. Be that person for them. Come up next week, same time, the same place, Friday, May 17th. I'm not going to tell you what the episode's called. You have to come to find out. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. But, but it's going to be the same kind of hard-hitting. It's going to be something that challenges you. It's going to be something that gets to the heart of who you're being all these different topics all revolve around that. They all revolve around our, our emotional quotient. They all revolve around self-awareness. They all revolve around stepping into embracing and utilizing our genius. Find out what it is. If you don't know, ask somebody. Reach out to me, thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. Be happy to spend 20 minutes with you. Talk to you. Happy to do that. Who are you being this week? And are you willing to authentically look at your life, be honest about the awareness? Do you have awareness around who you are? If you don't even know who you are, it makes it very difficult to be. Because now you're just playing a character, right? You're, you're not actually being who you are. That's not authentic. You want to be authentic. Be authentic this week. Have awareness. Be courageous. Be unapologetically you. That's unique. Make it another great week. Live out you abundantly and with intention. With intention. Abundance. Not lack. Not negative. Positive. Abundance. I love you. Big massive hugs and I'll see you next week. But keep thinking. So, awareness. Who am I being? Who am I being? We'll see you next week. I love you. Big hugs. Don't forget who you're being. Don't forget who you're being. Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 
and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs. Thank you for tuning in to the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.